Hi guys. Here, we are going to discuss about the topic erysipelas. The word erysipelas is a Greek word which means red skin, holy fire. It is also known as Saint Anthony's fire. Erysipelas is an acute spreading inflammation. The inflammation is occur in the upper dermis and superficial lymphatics. It is a typical skin rash. It is more commonly presenting on legs, toes, face, and fingers due to acute infection. It is caused by the beta-hemolytic streptococcus pyogens. It is presenting as raised well-demarcated skin rash. The rash is due to exotoxin, which is released by the streptococcus pyogens. It is more superficial than cellulitis. In olden days, it was more common in face. Now it is common in legs. Infection occurs through a minor trauma. It affects more common in females. There will be always cutaneous lymphangitis. Along with this, there is development of rose pink rash. With cutaneous lymphatic edema. Vesicles which form eventually. And it will rupture to cause serous discharge. Sites. The most common sites are. Orbit. Face. And. Ear lobule. And it also occur in the hands. And scrotum. In infants the infection is most commonly occur at the umbilicus. Legs and feet are now becoming more common sight. Clinical features. Toxemia is always the most important feature in erysipelas. Rash is fast spreading. And the rash is blanches on pressure. Rash is always raised. And it is present with sharp margin. In early stage there will be redness present. After some time the redness becomes brown. And in the later stage, it becomes yellow with vesicles. Discharge is serous. In face and orbit, it will produce severe edema. Million Esir sign. It is an important clinical sign which is used to differentiate the erysipelas from cellulitis. In cellulitis wherein the ear lobule is spared. The skin of ear lobules is adherent to the subcutaneous tissue, so cellulitis cannot occur. But, in erysipelas, being a cutaneous condition it can spread into the ear lobule. Differential Diagnoses Herpes zoster Angioneurotic edema. Contact dermatitis. Complications. Septicemia. Localized cutaneous gangrene. And subcutaneous gangrene which are the dangerous conditions. There will be development of abscess. It may get complicated into pneumonia. And meningitis. There will be lymphedema of face or eyelid or limbs. It may get complicated into glomerulonephritis, septic arthritis, necrotizing facetis. Its recurrence rate is 20 percentage. Treatment. In this condition, mostly antibiotics are used, such as penicillins, clindamycin, erythromycin, roxithromycin. The recurrent erysipelas may require injection. Benzathin penicillin. This injection can be used monthly for two years. Thanks for watching.